This object has trim details and carries two sheet materials, each using the supplied example trim sheet. If the unwrap trim tool adds detail, then unwrap to empty trim is its counterpart and removes it. To use it, just make a selection and choose unwrap to empty trim from the edit mode pie menu. You can see how the UVs have been moved from the number 3 to the predefined empty part of the trim sheet. And you can do this very quickly by simply pressing D and W in sequence. The tool also has an alternative mode that you can access by holding down the Alt key when calling it. Doing this will remove the seam edges marked by the Trim Unwrap tool and will then go into Edge mode. This way you can easily remove these edges if you want. Although in this case here, it doesn't make sense because the edges loop around the object. However, for this one, the only purpose of the boundary edges is to delimit the trim. And so you can remove these without consequence. If your selection covers multiple materials, you should know that Unwrap to Empty Trim will unify them. The material most represented in your selection will be assigned to all faces. Finally, take a look at this door part here. I'm not sure if it will show up on YouTube, but there is a kind of streaking or distorted noise visible here. That is even though these faces are unwrapped to the empty trim. So if you notice something like this, and want to get rid of it, you can hold down the control key while unwrapping to the empty trim. Instead of resetting the UVs of the faces, they will actually be unwrapped, followed by being transformed to fit into the empty trim. This seems to get rid of the issue. And here is the default behavior again for comparison.